Hey guys, I'm Merlin and you're watching DKM TV. Today's episode is going to be a review on Elite Forces 1911 A1. Now Elite Forces first 1911 A1 is a full metal blowback CO2 pistol. One of my first experiences with a CO2 pistol that's not a revolver um, and, and it's actually really impressive. Uh, you know, I like the revolvers. Uh, they're very cool. They're very accurate. They're just way too strong. Uh, even in the field setting, the revolvers are just so powerful with the CO2. Um, Elite Force has figured it out. Um, this is going to be able to play at just any field um, and even in some CQB places. Um, it, it's, it's a solid build. It's, it's, man, it, it feels just right in your hands. Uh, it, it's roughly around two pounds, which is typical for any of the gas blowback 1911s. Its construction is solid. It's got a metal slide, metal barrel. The features on this weapon are your, pretty much your standard features. You have your slide catch. You've got your thumb safety. And you got your grip safety. One of the differences is the barrel. This barrel is actually threaded. So if you want to put any kind of tracer or suppressor on this weapon uh, without having to put an adapter or changing the inner barrel, it's already set up for you. Internally, this weapon is, is just as solid as the outside. It is CO2 blowback. And the way that works is there's a CO2 cartridge that goes into your magazine. Now, initially I thought this might be a bad thing because oh, now I'm worried about you know CO2 cartridges and whatnot. But uh, it's really not any difference than getting a green gas can for ten dollars. Uh, you can get a set of uh, 25 for 15, 20 dollars at Walmart and actually on one cartridge we're able to stretch it um, three solid magazines and maybe into the fourth. Uh, these are four 14 round com capacity magazines and like I said three four CO2 cartridges. Four is a little bit stretching um, but I, again, I was kind of surprised at the end of the CO2 cartridge, the, the capacity of the CO2 cartridge, um, I was still shooting accurate. You can hear it. You can obviously hear the loss in the, in the pop or the blowback, um, but the accuracy was still there. I was still hitting 100 foot targets with the same accuracy as when I first put the CO2 cartridge in. Um, now, something that surprised me is figured, okay, it doesn't have all the inner workings that a gas blowback magazine does, like the reservoir and whatnot. Um, however, they still cost the same. I don't know a whole lot about the construction of this, so I'd imagine it's still got a lot of the inner workings as the gas blowback does. So I guess the main difference is the fact that it doesn't have a reservoir for the gas. Um, that's you know basically taken up by the CO2 cartridge. So surprisingly, you know they still cost the same for whatever reason roughly around the, the $30 mark. But, again, works just like any other magazine. They're great. 14-round uh, capacity. Um, shoot straight, shoot strong. Uh, Elite Force went ahead and put the spring in the slide to give it that the blowback feature, which I know was kind of a turnoff for a lot of the CO2 guns not having the blowback feature. So the realism in this gun is kept with the blowback. Now, one of the things that I did notice um, didn't quite like about the gun is just the sights. Uh, it does not have a three dot sight. Now the rear sight has a just a tiny notch on it, uh, maybe smaller than some. So you do have to kind of line it up correctly. It's not a quick three dot sight, um, so it doesn't allow you to just get you know eyes on on target real quick. Um, you got to line it up just a tad. But you know again, it's user interface with the gun. Once you get used to your gun, it shouldn't be a problem. It's just for me, I prefer those three dot sights. It just makes it easier. But other than that, really, that's the only problem I can find with a gun. The big difference is, rather than costing you 160 bucks right off the bat for a secondary, this is actually extremely affordable for what, for the package that you get. It it right roughly runs around a hundred dollars. So if you uh, don't use your secondary all that much, you just need something for the look, um, or you you want. A good secondary but you don't want to pay all that for it excellent price it's it's in most people's price range right around a hundred dollars uh, especially considering that it's, it's just a secondary so that being said let's go outside and take a look at how this shoots and then let's check out how it chronos <laughs> 